Hey Pocket Classroom family, welcome back. Welcome to the video lecture on matter. What is matter? Matter is defined as anything that occupies space, possesses mass, and the presence of which can be felt by any one or more of our five senses. So it should occupy some space and it should have some mass and its presence can be felt by either by any one or more of our five senses that is hearing, taste, smell, eyesight and our touch. So if you can feel by either by any one or more of your five senses then actually we, you are talking about matter. In fact we are surrounded with matter. If we look around us be it air, be it water, be it sand, be it a piece of rock Everything is matter because it occupies some space and it possesses some mass and their presence can be felt either by any one or more of our five senses. So the next important point is that what's the classification of matter? How are matter? How is matter classified? Well, there are two different ways to classify matter. The first way is the physical classification. And the next way is the chemical classification. Let's first talk about the physical classification. In the physical classification, it is further divided into three categories, solids, liquids and gases. But this point is very important. That is, the physical classification of matter is based on physical state under ordinary conditions of temperature and pressure. This point is important ordinary conditions of temperature and pressure. Why? Suppose we take some water, right? Now the water at the room temperature is in the liquid state. But if we freeze it, it becomes ice. Ice is in the solid state, right? That's why it is said here that it should be under ordinary conditions of temperature and pressure. Okay. So the first category in physical classification is solids. Solids, let's say that we take a piece of rock. Solids have definite shape and definite volume. So you can imagine that you are holding a piece of rock. That piece of rock has a definite shape and it has, a def it has definite volume. So if you take that piece of rock and if you put it in a cuboidal shaped object, its shape is not going to change. In the same way, its volume is also not going to change. That is fixed. Doesn't matter what shaped, what is the shape of the object in which you are putting it, it will not change. The shape and volume will remain the same. The next category is liquids. Liquids, let's take uh, an example of water, has no definite shape but has definite volume. Now, if you're thinking that how come it has definite volume but no definite shape? So let me explain to you. Suppose we take five liter water, right? Now it has definite volume. It has five liter. The volume is five liter. If we take that same amount of water, that is five liter water, and if we put into two different shaped objects, solid objects, the first one is cuboid. Let's say that you put water in a cuboidal shaped object. It will take the shape of a cuboid. But in the next case, if we took, if we take the same amount of water and we put it in a cone shaped object, then that liquid will take the shape of a cone. That is why we said that it has no definite shape. The shape changes with the changing objects. Right? Okay. The next one is gases. Gases neither have definite shape nor definite volume. Okay, let me explain it to you. Suppose you take carbon dioxide gas, CO2 gas, or you take oxygen gas, or let's say that you take this, the air, right? The, that is a mixture of gases. Now, if we take the same amount of air and we put it into two different uh, objects. Let's say that the first object is uh, has volume of 1 meter cubed. Right? Let's say the object has a volume of 1 meter cubed. 
the second object has volume of 10 meter cubed okay and you take the same quantity of air the same quantity of air and you put it in this and then you put it in this this air since it is in the gaseous gaseous state will expand whether it is 1 meter cubed uh, object or 10 meter cubic meter object it will expand in whole object it will occupy the whole volume right so the same quantity of air has different volume in when it is uh, being put in two different volume objects having two different volumes right this is one meter cube cubic meter and this is 10 cubic meter that is why gases they don't have uh, either definite shape or definite volume right so this was about the physical classification let's talk about the chemical classification well under chemical classification matter is divided into two categories homogeneous and heterogeneous in the case of homogeneous it's written here that it is it consists of only one phase okay this term is important that is phase so when we are talking about phase let me explain it to you by taking an example uh, let's say that you take some water right so this is a beaker and this beaker with full of is filled with water now let's say that you take this portion and you take this portion and then you take this portion right so whether you take this one let's say that is three this is two this is first portion all these three portions they have the same composition they have same composition right and they have same properties they have same properties whether you take this portion or this portion of water or this portion of water they have same composition you can't differentiate this portion with this one or with this one that is called phase that is it is made up of only one phase if it is still not clear to you i'll explain it to you don't worry now you, what you do you take some iron particles okay and let's mix it with salt let's mix it with salt now can you differentiate uh, like if we take this portion and if we take this portion right now can you differentiate you will say that now in this case we have two phases one phase is of that of salt right and another one is that of iron that is of iron it is made of two phases and in this case the iron particles uh, and the salt particles they are larger in size therefore you can clearly see that by your naked eyes by, by your naked eyes that's why you can quickly quickly tell that it has actually two phases and clearly you can identify the boundary between the two uh, you know particles right so in this case the same composition same properties but here it is actually having two phases one phase is being formed by uh, iron particles and another phase is being formed by uh, the salt particles two phases they don't have the same composition and they don't have the same properties right that's why we say that it's homogeneous when we take the example of air water salt dissolved in water so if you let's say that it's a beaker or glass you this is water and in this water if you put salt and you dissolve it right you dissolve it now can you identify where the salt is no because now it has been completely dissolved in this water and it will appear something like this like milky right it will take color of milk so it's like this so again it has only one face it has only one face in the same way if you take air if you take air though that it is the mixture of gases 
it is a mixture of gases but you cannot you cannot find the boundaries like in this case you can clearly see the boundaries between iron particles and the salt particles but here you cannot do that like you cannot say that hey hey look 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 this is oxygen hey this is co2 you can't do that right that's why it is homogeneous uh, homogeneous uh, classification that is air water salt dissolved in water it has only one phase that is it has the same composition and has same property in the case of heterogeneous milk mixture of sand salt and iron as we have seen here as we saw here so this is a heterogeneous why because it has two or more than one phase that will be a heterogeneous uh, classification right so example is milk now you might think that why milk isn't milk only ha is it doesn't milk have only one phase no if you put a drop of milk under microscope and you observe it then you can clearly observe in a drop of milk there are actually small bubbles of fat there are small bubbles of fat that is why you can identify two phases you can identify two phases one phase is that of the milk and the next phase is that of the fat bubbles or particles that's why it is made up of two phases the composition is not the same and therefore property will differ in the same way if you take the example of smoke black smoke right the black smoke is also example of heterogeneous uh, matter why because in that smoke it contains air and then you have black carbon particles that are clearly visible that's why it's also example of heterogeneous matter right so the chemical classification is homogeneous and heterogeneous but it's not a very good way of classification this chemical classification that we have done here it's not a very good way so what is a good way this is physical one and it is a chemical classification the next thing is this classification that is the chemical classification of matter this is the same that is a physical classification is solids liquids and gases but the chemical classification in this case that is a chemical classification of matter here is little bit different so in chemical classification it is divided into two groups pure substances and then mixtures okay we are going to discuss this particular portion in detail in our next video lecture okay we'll just discuss very quickly here pure substances are further divided into two groups elements and compounds both these elements and compounds are homogeneous again why homogeneous because they have only one phase only one phase right you, you have to remember the term phase so since they contain only one phase that is why we say that elements and compounds are homogeneous matter now this compound this compound is further divided into two subgroups one is organic compound and the next one is the inorganic compounds so compounds can be of two types either organic compounds or inorganic compounds and the mixtures can be of two types homogeneous and heterogeneous so homogeneous mixtures are also called solutions they are also called solutions we'll be discussing this we shall be discussing this in detail in our next video lecture